Hi, I'm Mitch Carney from Centerville Elementary School, and this is my class. Say hi, class. Hi! And they have written a song about colony collapse disorder because they are concerned about the problem and want to do something to help. Hi, bees, please come home. Recently, over 30 countries have been hit with riots or violent protests, all because of the rising cost of food. Officials in southern Haiti say at least four people are dead after demonstrations against rising food prices turned into riots. Simply put, there simply isn't enough money to buy food for the millions who need it most. And if more money isn't found, then food aid in some places may have to be rationed. A special or report into what's becoming a world food crisis. The rising price of staple foods is just beginning to hurt first world countries like New Zealand. But in the third world countries, they are long past hurting. They're dying. The honeybee, one of nature's most fascinating creatures responsible for pollinating one in every three bites of food we eat. Food shortages have been known to cause severe health crises and political upheavals. As the honeybees vanish, we face the devastating reality that a world without honeybees would threaten our existence. For such small creatures, honeybees have a huge impact on our society. Honeybees are essential to the agricultural industry. The value of honeybee pollination to U.S. agriculture accounts for more than $14.6 billion. In fact, honeybees are responsible for 80% of all insect pollination. The U.S. Department of Agriculture estimates that about one-third of the human diet is produced by pollinated plants. So why are all the bees vanishing? For the past two years, scientists have been trying to figure that out. Diana Cox Foster of Penn State University has been researching bees for years. The story begins in November of 2006. In November 2006, Dave Hackenberg, who's one of our beekeepers in Pennsylvania. First thing I did was pick up the phone and call you know, Penn State University, Diana Cox Foster, because I'd been in a meeting with her actually a week before and we'd, we'd talked about bees disappearing. He had these unexpected die-offs that had unusual symptoms. And so we expected initially that it was just a varroa-related problem that was due to this mite. Insides of bees are all full of uh, webbing in their intestines and, and their body parts are all uh, mucused up and it's just, just a mess and something that nobody had ever seen before. These were the first recognized instances of colony collapse disorder. CCD. Colony collapse. CCD. This collapse issue. Colony collapse disorder. Colony collapse disorder. The sudden inexplicable disappearance of millions of honeybees across the nation. So a world without honeybees and most importantly without any of the pollinators whatsoever would be very different than what we have right now. We'd be missing our fruits, we'd be missing vegetables, we'd be missing nuts, we'd been missing many of our trees, even things like maples, which are dependent upon pollination. We'd be missing many of the flowers around us. We'd be left with grass, uh, potatoes, corn. All these different products, you know, without bees, we're just not gonna have that kind of variety of our diet. Piece of fruit, the apple, that we can all go buy for like a quarter, would now cost a significant proportion of our daily income. That it would be the food of the kings, as one of my colleagues has said, that only the rich would be able to afford these. Because there's so many questions, uh, this, this has become a political issue. One needs to have adequate pollination of crops to ensure food supply in order to guarantee that countries will be remain politically stable. All we ask is to bring down food prices. And so it's of concern not only for uh, health problems, but also in terms of political interactions between people within a country and among countries, uh, the role of honeybees. 
Even before CCD, we estimated if honeybee numbers continue to decline at the rates documented from 1989 to 1996, managed honeybees in the United States will cease to exist by 2035. Without bees, life as we know it, I don't think will exist. Colony collapse disorder has distinguished itself as a prominent issue. Yet, the most important question remains unsolved. What is causing the collapse? Scientists are working on, on all aspects of, of what, what's going on here, you know, with CCD, colony collapse disorder, and we really don't even know at this point what is the, what is the, the straw that broke the, the camel's back and making the whole thing happen. In my own opinion, there's something affecting the immune system of the bees. There's some sort of toxin. And along comes some new chemicals, systemic pesticides, and whether that's what's you know, caused all of this to happen, or whether that's a combination of those pesticides with maybe genetically modified and BT crops. Um, I mean, there's a lot of questions out here that need to be answered. And I expected to have lots and lots of different organisms show up lots of potential diseases and we only had one show up but it still didn't answer the whole question. Uh, I suspect that there there's something that excuse me there's something that uh, in the environment that is triggering that, that's that's starting this whole process it's allowing other hive pathogens to to really take over. You know, we, we have a lot more answers today than we did in November of 2006 but there's probably more questions than there are answers. So we're asked, faced with asking what are the alternative ways to get the crop pollinated. Um, there's one example that comes from a valley in China. An area that was so, uh, so toxic that they couldn't keep bees alive and they used chicken feathers uh, to pollinate the pears. And these people go out and climb into these full-size pear trees and hand pollinate the flowers that they want to produce the fruit. There's no way in the world that I or anybody else would, you know, here in the United States would even consider it. I have faith that uh, in spite of what we do that, that the bees will, you know, enough bees will survive. Even in China they are saying that this is probably not a long-term solution. But uh, I hope we're not going in that direction. You and I can do things. We start calling our congressmen and senators and EPA. and Plant as many flowers as we can. Watch the kind of insecticides you're using on your lawns and your shrubbery. I don't think uh, this is a situation where we can uh, let this go. Probably the worst science fiction movie that we've ever seen. Beekeepers could write. might become extinct. Some action needs to be taken. It scares many of us researchers. What's it going to do to us and our children or grandchildren? Without bees, life as we know it, I don't think will exist. Outside of the Western pollination demand, colony collapse. I'd like not to think what it would be like to have a world without bees in it.